Welcome to the football mad city of Glasgow as we get ready for the big derby meeting of Celtic and Rangers. I'm Derek Ray and joining me for commentary as always on these big occasions is Stuart Robson. Stuart, what might we be in for today? Well, these two teams, Derek, I think it's fair to say don't particularly like each other and this is going to be a feisty contest. Let's hope we see some good attacking football though. And here's the starting 11 for Celtic. Well, it's a 4-3-3 with two out-and-out -out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. And here's the lineup for Rangers. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. Todd Cantwell, Dessers, Lundstrom, really vital interception here, now brilliant work to keep that one in play, throw in for Celtic Kuhn good pressure can they make something of this he's got to score might still be able to do a bit of damage and second time around he scores but the keeper left to wonder what his defenders were doing Well, when you see this again, I think the goalkeeper's very unlucky. He makes a good initial save, but the ball comes off of him, rebounds straight to an attacker, and the finish is excellent. Back underway, 1-0 it is. Cantwell. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? Fabio Silva. Now, high quality defending. This could be the equaliser. Oh, but he's missed it! He's completely failed the test! Well, that was a big opportunity, and they really should be level now. They have to be more clinical in front of goal. Not a good pass. Cantwell well a top-notch piece of defensive judgment
It must go in, surely. He had to score, and he does. Well, here it is again, and you have to say, he looks so uncomfortable with the ball at his feet. He's cost his team a goal here. So the ball is rolling again at one all. Johnston. Here's McGregor. Patate. Taylor. Forrest. He's lost it. Dujon Sterling. Will he play it in? And that goes down as an effort that he's not going to be remembering fondly. Johnston it's with Carter Vickers Rio Hatate well he's lost it Cantwell Johnston Still passing it around with authority. A good and fair challenge. Now can they make something happen? Well, the fans really want him to shoot. And it's in! Let's take another look. It's a really well-timed pass to break the offside line. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Well, back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2-1. Lundstrom, Cantwell, Sterling, possession lost, clattered away. The attack continues, they're making considerable progress. This could level it. Oh, he's missed it. He'll be kicking himself. Well, the opportunity presented itself, and they really should be level. They have to be more composed, more clinical if they want to get back into this. Callum McGregor hanging on to the ball in this fashion suits them. Really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a stop that is.
Played over. And did his job defensively. But he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Lundstrom. So two minutes of stoppage time here. It is a decent looking attack here. Terrific block. Well, following the clearance, it will be a corner. Who can they pick out? Not really the ideal clearance. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. Half here comes to an end. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, what a first half he had. I thought he was outstanding. He caused the defenders all sorts of problems with his movement and pace, and he fully deserved his two goals, and I expect more from him in the second half. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. He's protecting it effectively. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. And Celtic get the throw in. And a textbook interception. And they've given him too much space. Insufficient guile on the crossing front, you've got to say. Cantwell. Silva. Cantwell. Oh, maybe the equaliser. Well, a poor effort when all was said and done, and simple for the keeper. Well, he's made a real mess of that, hasn't he? What a chance that was. And a creative look about this. And Celtic have it back now. Forrest. And space to cross it. Well, nothing for the players in the middle to work with. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Dujon Sterling. Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. Oh, keeper dealt with it. Who can he pick out? Well, the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend. A goal! Real excitement. A back-and-forth type of game. Now they're level. Well, as you can see here, the initial attempt is good, but his reaction is brilliant. He was so alert there.
So underway again at 2 all. And into the last 30 minutes now. Hatate. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Leon Balogun. Dujon Sterling. And plenty of room in the wide area. Crossing possibilities. Can they forge ahead? They do. And you've got to say, the good value for the lead. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. Three, two it is. Who would have predicted that before a ball was kicked? Hatate. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. And holding the ball up in a decent position. Determined defending. And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. Well, Rangers haven't seen enough of the ball, as those stats tell us. But when they have had it, they've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas, and then counter-attack quickly. Read it superbly to take back possession. Options in the middle. A concession of a corner here. And the referee remaining very much in control. Now the card, and it's yellow. Here it is now, a substitution. And short it is. Forest. It might be on for them. Oh, and it goes! Now he has his hat trick. A special moment for him. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. Sterling. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. A chance now with the corner. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Now sending it in. And he's headed it in! Well, let's look at this again. It's a decent delivery into the box. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Forrest. Well, they're attacking, but time is the great enemy. And out of play for a Celtic throw. 
Well, they no longer have the ball. Bonna Barisic. Todd Cantwell. And the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick. Time for a change then. Lundström, and with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, almost there, the final whistle nearly upon us. Have they done enough to secure victory? Stuart, your take. Well, going forward, they've been excellent, but they've also been too open at the back. They certainly haven't won this yet. And it comes down to the final five minutes. Who can he pick out? Well, his direction was just a little bit off. Now, they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Perfectly positioned to take it away. And here they come, still pressing for an equaliser. He has time to play it over. Not a great pass. And the referee is going to add on four added minutes. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Johnston. Good technique displayed. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Well, there goes the final whistle, and it's all gone to plan for the visiting fans. Three points for them. Well, Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today, but overall, they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win.